Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day. And today, Star Stable Entertainment posted a blog post of like the behind the scenes, what they're working on currently, and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the video then. I just read the whole first article and it was not recording besties, so I'm just gonna say the main points. I am not reading that again. My voice hurts from that. But but basically what the first article was saying oh also I'm doing this a new way where I'm just going to put like the items on screen and me training in the background so hopefully make it a little bit more entertaining let me know if you like this better or me directly reading from the site but basically what the first article said is that there are lots of new hires and old hires on the SSO content creation team for Questline and they are going to try their best to like make the characters grow overall while keeping their old personality or like if they do want to change their personalities and stuff like that they're going to make it gradual and stuff like that to make it a little bit more consistent with the storyline and also they are going to try their best to put out as many quests as possible since they realize that they really really that the community really likes main storyline quests between the soul riders and the star riders the soul riders and the dark riders that's what it is but yeah there are going to be a lot more quests and they are currently in the process of making making these quests and they are also making quests all the way up until 2024 if not further ahead and planning all of these quests ahead of time so they can look back in the timeline and realize what is happening and stuff like that so that is basically the gist of the first article i read it on your own time it's like oh my god i was reading for so long my voice hurt so bad right now so yeah that is basically the gist of it and moving on to the next article we will actually read this one because i did not go on to film this one i was just checking back so let's see this is the great teaser server refractor sso recently turned 10 years old and as mentioned in the previous blog we want to run it for another 10 and beyond that means we need to keep our code and architecture to a quality of level that allows us to continue working on it in the future for that reason we embarked on a journey to improve our servers and your experience here are some teasers of the several things we are working on so this article is probably going to cover like servers what's going on with that and stuff like that why is this video so chaotic okay let's go ahead then first of all we are reworking the architecture of the server changing it from a big monolithic to a more modular system to allow us to advantage of the server into sars way how do i speak i am struggling giving us more power to process allowing us to implement new gameplay features in the future without compromising your experience we are also we're in the process of decoupling game mechanics from the server process into microservices with their own database. With this change, we will be able to take out load from the monolithic game database that is currently being used. As with previous point, less load means better experience and the ability to add more gameplay functionality for you. And last, we are creating tools and setting up an infrastructure for using test automation and stress tests instead of only relying on manual processes. With the stress tests system, we will be sure that the server is actually improving and we will have a way to measure the limits of it so we can be sure that your journey on Jorvik is the quality you deserve. This is all for the tease. In the upcoming posts, we will start to cover some of the topics in more detail. So if you want to know more about what is going on behind the tech scenes of Star Stable Online, stay tuned. So that is definitely very, very interesting. What I got from this post is they are like redoing some of the server mechanics like behind the scenes of the game. If you know what I mean, like we're not personally probably going to be affected by this unless they want to like test it out and stuff like that but they are like redesigning it and making it a lot more modern like the software that they use and stuff like that probably to accommodate for a lot of new players and uh, make it like a less laggy experience so more computers can handle star stable online so that is definitely something to look forward to if you want to play star stable on pc in the future and it lags a little bit for you they are trying to solve that so there aren't so many like game files all over the place in the game and just put them like in one place or take out as much as possible while still maintaining the same effect so that is definitely awesome 
The last post in this February blog post is in February, actually, and this one says, Player Character Update by Marie Cecile Jacques, producer. Oh my goodness, I already see a picture. Okay. For this month of February, we wanted to dive a bit more into the technical aspect of the character update. The research phase was along an intense period where each answer was bringing more questions. We will detail here some of the key moments and challenges. It was very, very clear very early on every feature upgrade we would implement would have to be analyzed by each team to identify the impact on their workload. We wanted to focus first on the diversity and inclusivity, therefore our first steps focused on skin color, body shapes, and hair. It, see it may seem easy to add more skin colors, but it's not that simple to make them look good. In Star Stable, our textures are hand-painted, and we're lighting the whole world the same way, as lights have a huge impact on performance. We had to experiment with painting highlights in a lot of different ways, so skin tones don't look too shiny during the day or too dark at night. We're happy with the progress we made so far, and we know that in the future, we will be able to have even better results following lighting updates. Oh, we're gonna be getting some lighting updates. That's nice. It is quite easy to understand how much body shape impacts the game. Each animation mounting sitting on a chair, each piece of each piece of cloth needs to be remade or adapted. Our great developers massively helped building what we call an additive animation, which allows us to mostly use the same animations for each body shape and then add a specific layer to correct the differences. It's only reducing the workload of the animators, but it's also better for the game's performance. We're still experimenting- <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just saw a picture. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, wait. I'm going to, I'm going to. That is so cute. We're still experimenting on clothes and we have positive results so far. Yes. On that topic, the challenge is not only the quantity, but also the fact that they have to be created on over a 10 years time frame during which technology was evolving a lot. It is then harder, maybe impossible to find a solution applicable on each item. So we will want to explore different options if those obstacles arise. Maybe they'll be like remaking some stuff. It is really heartwarming to read all your positive comments on last year's post. Months post. You can see in the following picture how our 2D and 3D artists are working on them in hand to offer an amazing new character. We can't wait to show you more next month. Okay, I'm putting the pictures up on screen right now, and this first one is apparently a body shape test. So the animators and Star Stable game designers and creators can, like, see how they are going to perform in-game and stuff like that, and probably, like, re size all of the clothing to fit the new character models. So that is very, very interesting. It looks like these are three of the body type options introduced to game. And I definitely, definitely love this and all the inclusivity that it offers. You know, like this is amazing. I, it looks awesome so far and I am super excited. I hope it comes out this year. I am waiting. And with these blog posts, I just get more and more excited each and every time. And they also include a sketch. And this is so cute. Okay. Okay, first of all, is that a miniature pony? Will we be getting that as a pet besties? Like, little spoiler alert here. I don't know. It looks like we might be getting those as a pet. Oh no, it kind of looks that way. And that kind of looks like a North Swedish horse. Will they be getting an update? Okay, anyways, but this is the sketch and the body types that look as absolutely amazing here. And it looks like our characters have toes. So that is definitely an upgrade as well. And yeah, also it looks like they are included including a like shorter hairstyle, shorter than anything in game, which I really like because, you know, I like to switch things up with my hairstyle a lot in game. And I'm just super excited for this character update then. Leave your thoughts and opinions on this blog post in the comments down below as I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. And I don't know, I'm so excited for the character update now. I don't even know. And if we get miniature ponies, that would be so cute as well. And yeah, bye. Thank you so much for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe as I post new Star Stable videos every single day.